Hi there, it's Holly Chandler of the Julie Kinnear team on a rainy day in the High Park neighborhood. But I am in front of 92 Indian Road, which is a fantastic light-filled duplex. It's one of the original 12 duplexes that were built in the early 1900s in High Park. And High Park, as most of you know, is one of the best neighborhoods in the city. And this is a great street. And this is a beautiful home. There's been a great deal of hardscaping done in the front and landscaping as well. I'll take you quickly to the back, get you a little more view of the house, and then I'll take you inside, of course. Check out our website, lovelytorontohomes.com for more information about the house, more pictures, the floor plans, and a 3D tour as well. So okay, here we go to the back of the house. Um, it's solidly built, very good bones, and it has been completely um, mechanically updated and very cared for over the years. And it's one of the largest lots on the street. So it's uh, an irregular lot, um, but it's about 100, 160 feet long. There we go, all the way to the back. There's space there for a garage. The neighbors have a garage. And here's a view of the back of the house has two stairwells because it is a uh, purpose-built duplex, um, which makes it uh, sturdy enough for a third floor, so I've been told. And uh, yeah, so let me take you inside. The top floor, as I'm walking down here, I may as well tell you about the house. The top floor has uh, three bedrooms, living room, dining room, and fireplace. That's the owner-occupied suite, so vacant possession is possible because the lower suite is unoccupied. All right, here we go up the steps, and into the front entrance. I just came through the front entrance and thought I'd give you a view of the front door, which is flanked by lead glass, which is typical of this area. The house was built in 1909. So it is a purpose-built duplex, one of 12 in the High Park area. And um, that door is uh, it's original to the house and it's solid, I tell you. Uh, here's the first floor apartment. It's two bedrooms, one bath. It has a new kitchen, large uh, principal rooms. So large uh, living room and bay window with um, leaded glass. and a huge dining room. Hardwood floors and beamed ceilings, more leaded glass, a leaded glass transom and windows that open. That over there is the stairwell. There are two stairwells in this house. So I'll take you down to the basement after. This is the renovated kitchen. This has never been used, so it was just done um, about four months ago, six months ago. And lots of cupboard space, all new appliances, a microwave, dishwasher, lovely tile. And storage here. It's another entrance to the lower level. And there is a separate entrance as well which is great, you could use it as a triplex. Here is the bathroom. The bathroom is a, is a decent size. It has been mostly renovated. So you see there's a big window there. You might wanna put up some curtains. <laughs> and a um, little bathtub there. And I'll show you the two bedrooms. Again, huge windows in all these rooms. And there is a closet there. Just needs some uh, doors. Or maybe not. I have something uh, stylish built in there as well. Here's the second bedroom. It's all hardwood floors. And again, another space for closet. So that is the first floor and I will take you to the second floor. 
Let me show you the living room first. It's beautiful wood burning fireplace and bay window. It's a rainy, cloudy day today, but there's still lots of natural light. So it's a beautiful view. The views in this house are uh, everything really. Well, they're very special because it's the house is off, little offset, it's on a curvy part of the street. So it gets lots of um, direct sunshine and uh, sort of a direct view. It's not blocked off by another house is what I mean to say. There you go. And here's the dining room. So like the, the dining room downstairs, it has the uh, original beam ceilings, which are very elegant and a very large dining room. And here is the other window. Again, a transom, lead glass, a transom for a handsome house. And there's a little built-in cabinet. You can just imagine the dinner parties here. Speaking of dinner parties, let me take you back to the kitchen. I didn't show you the kitchen. So it has a breakfast nook as well and tons of cupboard space. Lots and lots of storage space, all stainless steel appliances. And there's the little breakfast nook. Isn't this beautiful? It's on the corner. Great view, great clear view and private. It's a wonderful place to just, you know, relax and have your coffee. Okay, and this is the, you get another view of the front entrance. I'll take you into the back rooms or to the back. That's where the bedrooms are. So this uh, was used as, um, an office, so it's just used as a sitting room right now. As you can see, there's a day bed there, but you could put a uh, queen size bed in there. And there's the entrance to the back, down to the separate entrance. Again, two stairwells. Let me turn this on. The bathroom has been renovated. There's a linen closet or a storage closet for all your cleaning supplies. It could be a linen closet. So this is the area that's used as an office. So it's a great work at home option, which people want these days for sure. But it's also a large bedroom. Nice big window looking over the backyard and double closet. And I should mention there's very high ceilings in here. Now oh, here we have another. Oh, there we go, linen closet. And the original drawers there. Lots of special things in this house. Lots of character. And again, it's mechanically upgraded. And here is the primary bedroom. And again, a double closet. So that is the second floor of 92 Indian. I'm going to take you on a tour of the lower level of 92 Indian Road. It's unfinished currently, but it's a large space, has good ceiling height, and there is a separate entrance. It could be two apartments, it could be a triplex, or it could, you could keep it unfinished. Or if you wanted to make this into a single family home, you could uh, do something beautiful with a space because it is huge. It's a large open space, currently used as a workshop. It's another space, which is quite big. And the laundry room could be a great kitchen. So that space, this space. Lots of room for storage. Let me turn the light on. There we go. And there's the other entrance. The other stairwell goes all the way to the third floor. And um, this is a condenser boiler. So it's kind of like your hot water tank. 
and your boiler at the same time. It's commercial grade. And uh, it wasn't installed very long ago. Here is another room. So it's it has been drywalled. So the, um, the current owners had intended to make it a bedroom, which would be a great place for a bedroom. And here is the separate entrance. Check out our website, lovelytorontohomes.com for more pictures, more details about the building, about the house, um, and more videos, of course. So back down I go, and thanks for watching.